Lila texts uh-huh. in. She says, I'm 10 years old, about to be 11. But my question is, can you still love and cherish God, but not always agree? Not always agree with God? Yes. <laughs> 10 year olds give you the hardest questions, don't they? <laughs> It's like, oh, no. Well, I suppose it's possible, but I wouldn't want to do that, right? I, you know, I love my parents, but might, might I disagree with them? Yeah, but they're human beings. God is God. And this is one of the problems I think that we have in so-called Christianity today. There are people out there who claim to be Christians yet disagree with Jesus. They disagree with Jesus on marriage. They disagree with Jesus on life. They disagree with Jesus on sex. They disagree with Jesus on hell. Stop calling yourself a Christian, because you're not. You say, you get to decide who a Christian is? Let me just give you an analogy. Suppose you were with Moses and the Israelites at Mount Sinai. He comes down from Mount Sinai with 10 commandments, and you look at him and you go, I don't like those 10. I got my own 10. Would that, should you be called an Israelite, a follower of Yahweh? No, you're not a follower of Yahweh. You're a follower of yourself. Here's the problem. We don't want to change ourselves. We want to change God. I just, look, I... I just trust, I just have a personal policy. If somebody rises from the dead, I just trust whatever the guy says, okay? (laughs) Jesus rose from the dead. I'm going with what he said. Even if I personally may have an inclination to disagree, he is the standard. I'm not the standard. This is why when you get questions about sexuality or any other questions that you think are controversial in in, in in the society, what you need to say is, hey, I'm just telling you what Jesus said. You got a problem with Jesus? Take it up with him. But Jesus is the standard. I'm not the standard. I'm not the moral arbiter of the universe. Jesus is. So I trust in him. I just think he's smarter than me. 